Olá, amigos! Esta professor Olsen aqui, otherwise known as the Butterfly Hunter. And today, I am searching for the elusive white Pythagorean butterfly. His wings are congruent! I have been searching the San Juan Mountains high and low, as probably only two of them still in existence. And when I find them... Oh! Oh, right there, thank you. All right, sweet. I am so hungry. I've been waiting to find this thing all summer. Oh, boy, you have no idea how good butterflies taste. Oh, yes, yes. The only thing about butterflies, just like most animals, they are very protective of their young. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's get down to business. We're almost done here. Let's take a look at our chapter 10, page 2 test results. Here we go. And as usual, I always show my poetry. Here's what number 4 looks like, everybody. Take a look at number 4. I would call that a square pyramid. That means we have a square base, side times a side, which is 4 times 4. And, oh, that's not too, 4.4, sorry. 4.4 squared, which is 19.36. Now also notice we have four lateral faces that are all triangles. To find the area of a triangle, it's one-half the base times height. So one-half to 4.4 times that 6.6 .6 gives me 14.52. So I repeat that for all four sides. Add them all up, I get an area, surface area of 77.44 meters squared. Next up, number five, we have to find the volume of this solid. That looks like a rectangular prism. All right, well, to find the volume, you find the area of the base, you multiply it by the height. I'm going to say the area of the base, since it's a rectangle, is length times width. That's 3 times 3 times that 4, the height. That gives us a volume of 36 miles cubed. And finally, everybody, moving right along, we had number 6. Ooh, it looks like we have a triangular prism, and it's not resting on its base right now, is it? So, I have to imagine that it's tilted over, or tipped over. So, to find the volume, I've got to find the area of the base, multiply it by the height. Well, the base is this here triangle. Remember, all lateral faces need to be rectangles in a prism. So, the base would be 8, the height would be 15. Whoop, 8 and 15, sorry. So, I multiply 8 times 15, and multiply it by half, cut it in half. And that's going to give me the area of the base, times the height, which is 18, gives me an answer of... 1,080 millimeters cubed. There you go, everybody. Uh, you just got one more page on this test. Four questions, and they're really not too bad. You can do it, everybody. I believe in you.